Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be making a soundboard app and the primary reason where we're going to be doing this is so we can learn how to uh, touch input, create new sounds, play sounds, and how to switch uh, menus or screens. Um, we're going to be making a, uh, this particular app is going to be called uh, Olivia Sounds. Olivia is my daughter and she uh, right now she's about one and she loves playing on soundboard apps but I don't like how that every single um, one has the ability to purchase more sounds which gets her in these menus and she's no longer playing or they have ads which kick her again out of the app um, for it so we're not going to be implementing ads and since the primary phone that I have is an iPhone 6 um, we're going to be targeting that resolution. Now, if you guys want to target a different device or if it's just going to be on the PC, um, you guys can use other resolutions. But for mine, I am going to be using the iPhone 6, the normal one, not the Plus, um, screen resolution for pretty much all my screen calculations. So, let's get started. Um, I've done a little bit of work because a lot of this is kind of brunt work or it's something that I've covered uh, in another tutorial. Um, we have up already imported our project using a Gradle, and I have added a few things in here. Now, the first thing you guys should see in the project is these two lines here. I added a width and a height. Um, this pretty much simulates my iPhone right now. Um, I will be um, using the iPhone simulator in the future, but uh, um, not in this tutorial. I didn't test it out beforehand. Um, so or maybe I'll even try. Um, so right now I'm gonna simulate it from the desktop launcher. Um, the, the resolution has been halved. Um, the resolution will actually be the same, it's just um, the screen size, I need it to be uh, so I can see it. So when I pull this one up, it pretty much takes the entire height of my screen. So if I make it any longer, um, I won't be able to play around with it. So let's close that out. Okay, so these are my simulations here. Um, I've already gone through and I've added my pictures. Um, my sounds aren't updated. I haven't, uh, um, I, I will be doing that in part two is I'll be adding the sounds uh, for our numbers and then we'll be doing the letters and uh, animal sounds as well. Um, these, these particular sounds I want my wife to record her own voice for my daughter. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, make sure that you guys put all your pictures and assets in the assets folder in the Android project. That is key. So make sure you have that there. Once you have it, we're, we're good to go. Um, just to let you guys know, every single one of these pictures here comes from openclipart, I believe, .com or .org. Um, and they are 100% free to use in commercial use. So if you were looking for easy graphics, I don't do graphics very well, so that's where I got those from. So that's that. Um, in the core project, all we have right now is the sound manager. Um, and that's pretty much being called right here. I just call it sound manager. If you call it something else, you call it something else. So in here, I've done a little bit of work, not much. I added the camera, okay? And when I put the camera in, um, I set the screen size 750 by, um, by uh, 1,334, that is the um, resolution of the iPhone 6. And I put this false here, if you guys do not know what this false does, um, the false um, puts the uh, origin at the bottom left of our screen. So it makes it a little bit more easy for me to do my math and see everything. Um, the other thing I added here was I changed the background color to white. Now you saw that when I put it in there. And I ended up putting the projection matrix uh, from the camera into the batch. So today is very, this tutorial is going to be very, very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to load up our textures. Okay. And we are going to add touch input to them. Um, we will be putting sounds in next time. Sounds should be very, very easy, very, very quick, um, and if not a little bit, a little tedious. So I'm gonna pull up my assets folder again, so so I can see them as reference. 
and I am going to create a texture array. So textures array, and we're going to do, and I'm gonna call these buttons, okay? And we're gonna make the, each of these buttons equal to, I'm sorry, it's equal to a texture. And right now I have nine of them, okay? And I forgot my new identifier. Perfect. So I have created nine buttons, okay? One from each number, I did not include zero, okay? Because I feel that it's important for little kids so they'll start counting one, two, three, and not worry about, hey, zero. All right, so we will eventually be putting like other things in, but right now we're not gonna be focusing on that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do buttons zero. Okay, button zero equal to, and we are gonna do new texture, and we're gonna take the texture uh, value in. Now, the texture, the first one we're going to be doing is, is we are going to be doing numbers slash one dot png and we are going to make this, since it's 750 I want to add a little bit of buffer if I divide that by three because I want three numbers across um, that comes to 250 I want to put a 50 in there. I'm going to make each of my, um, I'm going to, I'm each of, actually, I'm just going to leave that there. And when we do our batch here, we're going to create a for loop that runs through everything. Right now, I just want to test out this one button. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to go with there three. I plus plus. We will change that again. And now we're going to also do int j. Now this is going to help us with positioning our stuff so we don't have to manually do it. We could manually do it, but uh, um, but right now we're going to choose to let the computer do it for us. So buttons, okay, and we're going to do I times three plus j. Okay, that will be the value. Both of those are gonna be equal to zero right now, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and the way we draw things in here is we do batch dot draw. Okay, we're going to say the position is i, um, I times 250 okay and then we're gonna do the uh, same thing for J and we are gonna say the the picture is gonna be 200 by 200 okay that should give us um, that should draw us one of the buttons and right now I have put in the one button number one right here. So let's run this particular program. It's gonna ask us to save, hit okay. And now I have this one up here, or down here. That's perfect. Now what I would like to do is I would take, like to take this one and move them up a little bit. So we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna change our formula here, okay? And remember J controls, actually we should flip these a little bit. J and I because we want I to control our vertical. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, 134 minus this, okay, and that should move it all the way up to the top. And let's find that out. If not, we can do a little bit of trial and error and eventually fig uh, figure this out. Okay, I think it draws in the bottom left corner now because I put the things there. So let's move this down by 150 so that would be one and an eight so let's run this again okay I still need to move it down a little bit more I think I messed that up so let's oops don't want to do that 
Okay, and we are going to move that down to a. Oh, our uh, our thing is a 200 pixel, so we should just subtract a 200. Okay, now going back, I accidentally exited out of my desktop, so let me grab that back again. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get used to this Mac. This is my second tutorial on it, um, so. Okay, so right now it's in the top left corner, which is okay. All right, so let's add a few of our extra um, our extra guys, and I'm going to add buttons one new texture numbers two dot png. Okay, and now if I hit change this to two. All right, we're going to run here. We're still not going to go out of bounds, so let's run this. There's my two. Perfect. All right, let's keep on going. And we're just going to keep on adding. I'm just going to copy and paste these in. So Command C, Control V, Control V, Control V. I can Control V and delete one. So let's first change these to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would be perfect. We're going to change our loop so it displays all of them. So three and three. Right now it's just going to say one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, but we should be able to see our positioning a little bit. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, perfect. Okay. So it's a little off to the left, and I probably want to bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to close this out again. Okay. And uh, um, since we're talking about just adding a little bit, so we're going to add 25 pixels here. Just try to see what would make it fit a little bit better. This is kind of a rough estimate. Okay. Which actually centered it up pretty well. Okay. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to move them down. Remember the J controls down, so we're just putting these offsets in here. Okay. Um, what you can do is you just need to subtract more to move it down. So we're going to make this go at 800. Eventually, we'll put a title on there of like say numbers and something cutesy and something in the background. Is again, this is going to be for children. Okay. Perfect. And then down here, I will I will have my other options like let's do numbers, animals, um, something else. Um, so this way, the kids can constantly go into the other games. And if we really wanted to, we could put ads in there, but we're not going to be a douchebag like that today. Um, so let's. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill out these numbers: three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and we should have nine fun numbers. Um, one thing I'm going to do though is I am going to make this a little bit easier to uh, um, or separate them a little bit more. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 50 back to this, but when we space things out, we're going to space it by 300 instead of 200. Let's put 100 pixels in between. Let's see how that looks. Looks a little bit better with the spacing. So um, eventually, what we'll do is we'll be putting uh, um, like a nice, pretty colored background in. We will be putting in more options and more buttons. But right now we have our first set of numbers in, in there and we'll be adding the everything else in the future tutorials. Um, so look forward to those. Um, I should be recording them sometime this week and I should be posting them as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time and happy coding. I will stop the recording. Boom. Have a good day guys.